In my next edition of Sega Genesis platformers not named Sonic the Hedgehog, I'll be examining a zany shoot 'em up, or in this case, head 'em up platformer, that can still provide for surprises and fun times for the conscientious Sega Genesis fanboy like myself. Game developers Treasure have designed a gold mine of games from cult classics such as Gunstar Heroes and Radiant Silver Gun to games that were made to reach a wider audience such as Mischief Makers and Wario World. Platformers were the name of the game in the early 90s as were main characters with attitude and flair. So Treasure got together with Sega and designed a surprisingly creative and exciting platformer for the Genesis. The hero? A toy puppet with a detachable head which he launches at his enemies. I'm game. His name is Dynamite Heady, and he's in charge of defending North Town's toy citizens from the evil King Dark Demon and his twisted minions. At the same time, the puppet Trouble Bruin is on the heels of our headstrong hero, jelly of his popularity. A veritable menagerie of enemies act as minions to King Dark Demon including giant walking knight helmets that look like they crawled out of Kirby's adventure, and this cat guy. Never mind the stagehands. Looks like they paid off Eddie Honda for his background, though. Each level is like a mix between Sonic the Hedgehog, Magic Sword, and Arrow the Acrobat. Just like in Sonic and Arrow, you play through scenes and acts as if it were a Broadway show, with the boss battle acting as the closing scenes. Totally unlike Sonic or Arrow, however, is Dynamite Heady's attack style. The cliché use your head has never had more importance in video games. He can use it to attack, grab, and lift himself up onto orange light creatures called hangmen that hover in the sky, and even activate new powers by attacking head cases. This is where variety in attack takes a firm grip on the fun factor and doesn't let go, and is the primary reason for my comparison of this game to Magic Sword. Hetty's powers include turning his head into a vacuum cleaner, a pig head that will shoot stars out of his nose in a figure eight, an explosive bomb head that will clear out all enemies on the board, and one that makes him appear transparent and causes him to be untouchable. Level design, along with the presentation of the game altogether, is often compared to McDonald's Treasureland Adventure, full of colorful and wacky amusement park and circus-like environments that might leave your head spinning, although this level with tilting platforms that go from being 2D to 3D surface is truly ahead of its time. As I mentioned before, boss battles usually cap each level, and the design of this mad dog boss battle with an orchestra playing the Nutcracker in the background ain't like any concert from your class field trips. Dynamite Heady has unfortunately gone through a lot of changes from its Japanese release, the most striking of which is the difficulty, which would be much easier if you bought it in Tokyo, as compared to your neighborhood game store in the States. But to be sure, Dynamite Heady is far from disappointing, and may even be my new favorite 16-bit platformer. 